Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So this is now totally dry. This is the back. I think it came out fairly exciting. It is a bit wild and crazy, especially compared to the front, but that's okay. It all goes together. However, we had issues with our tape. So as you can see along here, not only did the sticky part not come off, some parts, even the tape itself, we've had a lot of trouble getting off. So I would not recommend using this tape um, because, yeah, that's kind of just a big fat mess right now. But what we're going to try doing is we're going to use some Goof Off. And um, this is oily product. So what we would have to do is see if we can get all this sticky stuff off, then thoroughly wash it, and then we're going to have to sand it which will be fine. So we're gonna start with that and then go from there and see how it looks at that point. We'll be back. All right guys, so took a lot of work, but we got pretty much all of it off with the goof off. Um, we're gonna go ahead and sand the whole thing now. So we have some ridges here that we've got to sand down and then we're going to sand the sides as well and see if we can kind of make them match up a little bit better. But either way, we have to sand the whole thing anyways to put the clear coat on. So we're going to go ahead and do a bunch of sanding. All right guys, so we've sanded it down and we just can't make those edges match up. There's also just still a lot of red showing on here. So what we're gonna do is Ralph is gonna just tape off these center parts here and we're gonna just do another layer of resin on the top. We're not gonna tape the sides at all and then we're really just gonna hope for the best. Um, we're more concerned about the front than the back. Uh, but you know, we'll kinda just have to try it and see how it goes. This is all a big fat experiment. And yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, we've taped it up, we've mixed it, and now we're gonna just go for it and hope for the best. So here we go. All right guys, so we redid this side. As you can see, it is pouring over the sides a little bit, so we're gonna have to kind of baby it for a while. Um, and then we're not gonna end off this part until this is dry, so we can show you the final dry product. And then we'll go ahead and do our final coat if it all turns out fine. Let's do our close up here. One other thing I wanted to mention is, well, I'll list the materials all in the description, but one thing I did differently on this side is I actually used Stone Coat's purple base tint instead of the purple mica powder um, because the base tints I found to be a lot more solid. And anyways, so that's a bit of a difference there. I'm definitely liking how this is coming out. This looks, I think, great. 
So we're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back and we'll show y'all how it looks. All right guys, so we're back. This will be the end of part three. This is how the front dried. Much, much better, I think. And the sides go together a lot more now. So now all we have to do is our clear coat. So as you know in the earlier in this video, we already sanded the back here. Uh, we're gonna just sand a little bit along the edge. And then we're also gonna sand the front down again. And that is just so that our clear coat will stick. And this time, I'm gonna start with a clear coat on the back <laughs> instead of the front. Oh uh, yes, I've learned a lot. At the end of this video, at the end of part four, I will do a whole list of everything that I learned doing this project and what not to do. But anyways, that's the end of part three, and we'll see you guys next time in part four.